All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Creating a Legend with Ben Simmons. And oh my goodness. Okay, so somehow the Thunder picked up DeAndre Jordan. But as I was saying, welcome to another episode of Creating a Legend with Ben Simmons here. And today, as you guys can see on the screen, we have a matchup against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Right now, they are the best team in the West. And as you guys will see here shortly, the Celtics are the best team in the East. Now, in the last episode, we did lose to the Houston Rockets, but after that, the Celtics went on and decided to win seven straight, including an absolute throttling of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I believe it was in Cleveland, if I'm not mistaken, and the Celtics absolutely decimated them. So now we are coming up, and we are going to be playing against the Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, guys, so let's check this out. We are going to play the Oklahoma City Thunder. As you see right there, DeAndre Jordan is in the starting lineup. And this should be very intense. This should be a great game. The number one team in the West versus the number one team in the East. Ben Simmons once again rocking the Kobe 11 All-Stars. Looking so fresh and so clean. You know he signed that Nike deal. Now the first possession kicks off. It looks like there's going to be an ISO for Russell Westbrook down on the block. He passes it to the cutting Henderson. Simmons gets sucked in and Ibaka ends up with a wide open three. And he's able to make that go. Now Ibaka firing again in the mid-range area. Unable to get it to fall and the Celtics are running the break. You know this is Ben Simmons specialty finding the open man. And he sees Jay Crowder tra trailing the play. And he's going to knock down a very nice three right there. Now Ben Simmons coming around the pick, looking to get some space for himself. Finds an open lane, gets Ibaka to bite on the pump pick. There is no way Ben Simmons is going to shoot that, right? But Ibaka jumped anyway. Ben Simmons gets to the line. The first free throw is up, and it falls. Now the second free throw, and he gets that one to go as well. So now it's 9-7. to seven. Five minutes left in the first, and Isaiah Thomas tries to force a pass inside. This is going to lead... To a thunder break as DeAndre Jordan beats Robin Lopez down the floor and gets himself a dunk in transition. Now Avery Bradley on the isolation trying to get past Deion Wade as the ball goes inside to Simmons. He's got a much smaller Gerald Henderson on him. Goes to the fade and does not get it to go. As you guys see there's a blue bar under Ben Simmons. He began the game cold, was not able to hit many shots, but right there he finds his teammate and fellow rookie Scalabissier, and he gets a nice jump shot to go, and Avery Bradley attacking the basket, going right at DeAndre Jordan. Let's see that one again, going right over the top of the most elite shot blocker in the NBA and not caring. What a play by Avery Bradley. He did struggle this game as Ben Simmons misses another wide open shot. Avery Bradley struggled mightily this game, but those were some big, big points that he got right there. Now Ben Simmons, another rebound, trying to go coast to coast again, sees Robin Lopez in his running lane, trailing the play, and the Celtics are now up three. Now Avery Bradley gets blocked. He gets his own rebound, puts up another shot, and Ben Simmons is on the boards once again. The Celtics are up one. Now Ben Simmons with the first free throw. He gets it to go. Now Ben Simmons on the second, and I think he's going to get one, that one to go as well. So now Ben Simmons has the Celtics up by three. Now we cut back. The Celtics are only up one once again. Still five minutes left. Ben Simmons takes it to the basket and gets absolutely denied by DeAndre Jordan. That's another miss. And, of course, Ben Simmons is not in a great rhythm. And look at that pass by Gerald Henderson to Kevin Durant inside. And that puts them up by six. But Isaiah Thomas has an answer. Now with about four seconds left, Russell Westbrook's going to try some heroics. And he does not get it to go. But that's going to bring us to the half, guys. UK Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hope you've been enjoying the excitement so far. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. There was no stopping Russell Westbrook in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, three assists, and one steal. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics. Well, they're shooting in the low 30s from downtown. That's not disastrous, that's terrible. But it's a big reason why they're not winning this game. 
They need to run harder off the picks, try to get more open looks, and then the shooters got to finish the job. Yak em. So that does it for us. Hope you enjoyed our halftime show. Now, we take you back to Kevin Harlan for the second half call. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half. All right, so we are going to pick up the action right at the beginning of the second half. The Celtics are looking to get back on the board after being down five at the half while shooting an absolutely terrible percentage as Ben Simmons rolls to the basket, not afraid of DeAndre Jordan right there, unaffected, and gets himself a nice, easy dunk. Now Crowder's going to fire away on the three ball. He was in the deep corner, so that means no one is able to get back, and Kevin Durant outruns everyone on the break and puts the Thunder up seven here in the third quarter. Now Ben Simmons trying to get his team back into it he tries to fire up another three and absolutely nothing is going as you see he is only one for six from the floor he needs to play better for, in order for his team to be successful he gets subbed out and his team actually comes back into the game so now it's a nice close game once again for the Celtics Ben Simmons is going to try to find his team a great shot, and he takes it to the basket. Oh, man, what a dunk right over Steven Adams and Kevin Durant. The dunk wasn't too clean, but oh, my goodness. He got two guys on that dunk right there. Now, Sullinger comes up with the steal. Ben Simmons is on the break, and he finds Buddy Heald for the nice basket. What a great, you know, little shovel pass. And once again, Buddy Heald finds himself in an open spot on the floor, and he gets himself another jump shot. Now we're going to pick up action in the fourth quarter. Ben Simmons with a little jumper, and it seems like he's starting to find his rhythm. Fourth quarter crunch time. Time for Ben Simmons to show up. Avery Bradley fires the three. Nothing going. Ben Simmons on the glass. And he gets an offensive rebound and a putback, trying to bring his team within one. And he does exactly that with another clutch um, free throw. Now, Isaiah Thomas isolates on Ibaka, and he's going to get an one trying to tie up the game here for the against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And he gets it to go. Now, I think we have ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. Now, over to Simmons. Simmons is going to attack the rim. He sees Lopez. You see the Celtics actually went down by six right there. Simmons able to find Lopez right there on an easy shot. Now Westbrook attacking the rim and Ben Simmons says no. I think Russell Westbrook wanted to get just a little bit of revenge. And Ben Simmons wasn't having it. And another foul right there. Ben Simmons is going to get to the line once again for some more free throws. First one is up and in. The second one, that's going down too. Now... The Celtics are down two points here, and the Thunder, you know who they're going to be going to. Kevin Durant from deep with a hand in his face, and he knocks down the three ball. Kevin Durant, ice in that man's veins. What a shot. As you see, Bradley is off on the miss, but, very, but later in that possession, Avery Bradley finds Ben Simmons coming to the rim, and he's going to get another and one with a chance at three, and he gets it to go. Now, you know that once again, the Thunder are going to be looking for Kevin Durant. He comes off to pick another contested jump shot. Falls for KD. That man is on a mission. Now, Bradley attacking the basket. Simmons finds Crowder, and Crowder is going to drain the jumper. That is going to make it a two-point game with a minute and 37 left. This is a close, tough game, but as soon as the ball gets inbounded, Kevin Durant puts in another basket. That's seven in less than two minutes, and Robin Lopez is able to answer right there on a beautiful pass from Isaiah Thomas going across his body to find the open man. Now the Celtics are down two, and Robin Lopez is able to scoop up the ball off of broken play. That pass was deflected, but somehow the Celtics are able to tie it up, but Robin Lopez was celebrating and gave up a wide open dunk. Now people will say Ben Simmons should have shot that. I don't think he should have. He found a wide open Avery Bradley, but luckily he's able to knock it over. I mean, knock it off of. I should say Serge Ibaka, but Robin Lopez goes to the basket against DeAndre. Probably not a high chance of that going in, but Serge Ibaka takes a little contact on the layup and puts his team up four. And now things are looking grim for the Celtics if they don't find themselves a big shot. So let's see what the Celtics are going to do. Bradley taking a pick from Simmons, 
trying to move around, trying to find himself a look. Still not shooting the ball. Isaiah for three. Crowder, no. Crowder passes on the shot. The ball movement. Simmons for three. Yes. Ben Simmons connects on the three. And he is going to put his team in position to be able to have a chance at this one. Now Henderson is at the line after the Celtics committing a foul. He hits the first. He hits the second. And now the Celtics need to tie the game with the three. Isaiah fires, and he does not get it to go. Uh, what a tough loss for the Boston Celtics. They played the best team in the West tough. This is probably the best team overall um, in the league right now. What do you guys think? I think the Celtics played them very, very tough. I think they played very well. But I think we could have gotten some more production from Avery Bradley. As you see him right there, guys. Two for 11. That's just not going to cut it against the best team in the league. All right, guys, so the video's winding down to an end as you're looking at the stats. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what I can improve on, what you liked about it. And I will catch you guys in the very next one. Peace.